another one. Reviews. We developed a lengthy list of codes, around 30 or so codes, with um, around five actual codes. The actual codes were top-down approach to management, bottom-up approach to management, physical effects of autonomy in the workplace, emotional effects of autonomy in the workplace, and how to measure job performance. After um, coding the next two interviews, we realized that we had to make a few changes. We proceeded by deleting some codes. Some examples of codes we deleted were guidelines set by supervisors and strictness. Now the reason for deleting these codes and deleting of other codes that have not been mentioned is because they were redundant or we found that they were either too specific or too broad or that they just it, the theme just wasn't that key to our research. We also realized that codes had to be added. So, for example, an open code we added was feeling respected, and this was added into the, um, the emotional effects of autonomy in the workplace, because this was a, a sort of theme that was brought up often in the, in the two interviews that we coded later on. We also realized that we had to create a whole different new actual code, which was differences in the workplace. And under differences in the workplace, we have the two open codes of differences in organizational cultures, so how the, the culture is structured, how the organization operates, and divino, divisional differences in job performance criteria. And this is because in the first two interviews that we conducted, the job performance criteria was rather similar, but we started noticing that in the next two interviews, the, the, the criteria for job performance deferred. And so, you know, how autonomy affects this job performance criteria is different. So this needed its own access. So in terms of memos we made, we had some observations we made during interviews. So we found that people that are non-native speakers, um, conducting interviews with them in English is perhaps not the best way to gather data. So either simplify questions, change sample groups, or conduct interviews in Dutch. In terms of theoretical observations, the concept of making your own decisions was often echoed. So this must be important to people. Furthermore, no one ever mentioned extrinsic rewards. So um, with regards to job accomplishments, intrinsic motivation and the feeling like your own input is important is perhaps um, the most important. Also, we found that autonomy is not always the best thing for a company. So people do mention that sometimes it is good to be able to report to a boss or that when a company is in its natal stages to have sort of a leader of a vision in command. Perhaps autonomy is not always suitable. Um, we decided hence to explore situations where autonomy could be perhaps detrimental. So with respects to our selective codes, we found that overall we have this overarching scheme of need for autonomy. And this need for autonomy is grounded in sort of these um, actual codes of emotional effects of autonomy, the physical effects of autonomy, and the bottom-up approach to management. And time after time again, after conducting our interviews, we found that people, you know, they would um, tie in autonomy with having a sort of a positive, in, enlightening mood in the workplace. It makes feel people feel like they have more of an effect on the workplace, that they have more of a position, and so that's sort of like the physical effect, and also just the bottom-up approach to management where the manager trusts the employee and gives them respect and overall these overarching axis um, tying into all these open codes pushes it all towards the need for autonomy. However, we also did sort of discover with these two actual codes being how to measure job performance and differences in workplaces, sort of the limitations in autonomy. And we found that, you know, sometimes um, with job performance, people had different views of job performance. And um, for example, some people had a more numbers-based version. And 
Um, in our interviews, we came to the conclusion that sometimes to create positive numbers, someone needs a strong vision and needs to lead the group. And so perhaps you can find a limitation of autonomy. In terms of reflection, we'll start with the research question. Originally, we had, to what extent does autonomy um, influence job performance? Now, while phrasing the question with to what extent, it is quite limiting for qualitative research. So we decided to open it up with a how statement. And we also involved intrinsic motivation, which we find ties in quite well with um, autonomy. Furthermore, um, with respects to our theoretical framework, we found that our theoretical framework was, in fact, validated. Um, this is because the previous research gathered in this field seemed to be supported. However, we did, in fact, make some new insights with the idea that perhaps autonomy is not always the best. And just in our memo, as we previously mentioned, we decided to explore this furthermore. <laughs>